state, but we will never let them win. What I've started will continue, whether I'm here to see it or not. I'm merely an agent for change, guiding us toward our shared destiny. Our children will live to see the end of terror, of famine, of oppression, and brutality. A world where all necessities will be provided. A world free from the tyranny of government, of artificial differences and false beliefs. A world united under one flag. Democracy? Democracy. Democracy isn't what these people need. Hell, it's not even what they want. America's been running around the globe trying to install democracies in nation after nation for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. Now, why do you think that is? Because these countries don't have the most basic building blocks necessary to support a democracy. Little things like, we ought to be tolerant of those who disagree with us, or we ought to be tolerant of those who worship a different god than us, or that a journalist ought to be able to disagree with a fucking president. And you think you can walk into this country based on fundamentalist religious principles, drop a couple of bombs, topple a dictator, and start a democracy? <sighs> Give me a break. People don't want freedom. They want rules, boundaries, protections from invaders and from themselves. People need a leader who can both provide the constraints and the support to keep chaos at bay. And you give them that, and they'll follow. And that's where I come in. So what now? Now we finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. It's three of us against an army. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. Okay. You got any ideas? Just one. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Drones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. Sentinel 2-1, we're still detecting high levels of contamination in the city. We will not be able to get ground forces to assist you. Over. Copy that, Kingpin. Enemy forces are closing on your position. I see them. Vigil, weapons free. Light them up. Rocket ready. 
ready. 200 meters to drop point. Swarm missiles ready. Rocket ready.
our missiles ready. Rabbit ready. Swarm missiles ready. Rabbit ready. Swarm missiles ready. Rabbit ready. Rabbit ready. Swarm missiles ready. Swarm missiles ready. Stage three boosters check complete. There's an access point to the exhaust vents up ahead. I'm sending you the position. Got it. Keep pushing forward. Mitchell, hang on. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. Yeah. Uh. I'm setting you down. 
I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. I need to find some light. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exos! Come on, Ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling. It's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America? Unleashing Manticore? Killing thousands of innocent people? I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah. Twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you! I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Now mine. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! Don't let Irons get away! Hurry, Mason! Keep going! Don't let Irons get away! Mitchell, pull me up! I'm not letting go, so you got to pull me up! Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it! Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! I've got you, mate. I've got you. It was only gonna end one way for him. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. <laughs>